to bring on uh, very qualified people. One of them particularly now has come, Mahabudi Prabhu, who can manifest things uh, that most of us are picking up intuitively, but he can make it manifest in forms in the material world. So one thing we don't ever want to lose, and if we've lost it, we don't want to, we want to regain it. Gurdjieff said the most important thing in training children, in teaching children, is control by love and affection. This is what he embodies, and also, if this is going to be the center of his worldwide mission, it doesn't mean bricks and buildings, but it means his conception and mood has to be imbibed by us and passed on from one generation to the next. So everything that he's doing, traveling around the world, writing all these books, will continue to spread as, as one generation moves into the next. This, is, this would be our greatest contribution to him, to imbibe his legacy and to give it to others and make sure that our children understand it. So many children in the past have been cheated in the name of Krishna consciousness. Our great Dave has come to not cheat anyone. And if we are going to be his representatives, then we have to become non-cheaters ourselves. So traditionally when Gurudev comes, we first I introduce the teachers and persons who have been involved in our school, and then I introduce the students. So beginning with, well first, even though Gopanandini is not involved in the school right now, directly, she is indirectly involved in the fact that I'm always taking good advice. And she actually is, more than anyone, the one responsible for getting the school moving in the mood that Gurudev has uh, encouraged us to develop. So I want to first acknowledge Gopanandini. And then Nichimanjari Devi Dasi. Nichimanjari. Uh, has been so steady in her service all these years. And like I was saying earlier, it's been a struggle at times. Where most of us who are here are overextended. We don't have, the, like we'd like to focus on the particular areas where we want to specialize in, but we're doing so many other things that it's hard. But yet every day she comes in and she's so expert at giving foundational education to young children in the academic realm so that they get a strong foundation and when they move on to higher grades, they've imbibed solid academic skills. And there's Radhika Devi Dasi. <laughs> to give you an example of Radhika Devi Dasi and, and her contribution, um, one girl, I asked her, why is it that you like Radhika so much? And she said, oh, she makes me feel good about myself. Mm. So... This is Gurudev's mood, and Gurudev has called her my teacher. And the love and affection that she gives to these children from the core of her heart on behalf of Gurudev, I haven't seen anywhere before. So, Radhika Devi Dasi, thank you. <laughs> and, uh, is Rangalata Didi here? I should not hear her now. Rangalata Didi this year contributed so nicely, and working with the younger children and assisting Radhika in the classroom. She, she was new to the Gurukul, but I do want to acknowledge her service. And uh, so everyone, Rambali. <laughs> and Kishore Babu, from, formerly from Badger, then from Hawaii, then now again in Badger. Uh, he has a passion to teach the things that he so uh, expertly learned. He spent many years in the Gurukul in Iskand, and he's learned, I don't know in the West at least, someone who can teach Vedanka so expertly to children. Many of the children you see who have moved on have been taught these skills by him. He teaches shlokas, and it, like, it seems like you're in some Vedic village. He does it with such expertise. He's, um, he also uh, is amazing at PE, which is teaching that, and Hindi. But also he has so many ideas about how we can move our school into the next phase, which is somehow other magically happening to all of us. There's nothing like, in, in serving Guru Day, there's nothing like commitment. When it's kind of like do or die, and there's no back door, and you just think you've had enough, but you recommit in your heart, then all kinds of intelligence comes from Guru. 
It's his shakti, actually, and it's his service. And he can manifest this school in five seconds just by snapping his fingers. But he's just waiting for us to rub together his rocks and get purified so he can be uh, able to do his work to us. So anyway, Kishore Prabhu, ki And I can't neglect mentioning Nanda Gopal Prabhu and his wife, Manju Vasani, because I'm a very passionate person. But his advice, his intelligence, his balance, his... Uh, Nanda Gopal is an institution in Badger, and so is his wife. But he's an institution with a heart. And his contribution to keeping this project going is invaluable. And same with Manju Vasani. We just wish they could participate more. They're so busy with their work in person. So, uh, Manju Vasani and Manju Vasani. We also have here some of our children who have graduated and are now in college. And they're doing quite well. Almost straight A's. We have, I think it's four girls in college now. Okay. And we have a number of boys who have gone on to be with Premananda Guru and getting further training and walk through there. So, so there's been some success. We've had some mistakes. The time is right. And there's nothing so powerful as an idea whose time has come. So we want to encourage all of you to help us bring Gurudev's vision to fruition. And whether it's by your thoughts, your energy, your wealth, whatever it may take, let's make this school a light for the world in conjunction with all the other preaching programs that are going on now for Srila Gurudev. So uh, everyone will benefit by this project that we invest our energy in now. And now the children. Oh, yes. Nanda Gopal is always saying, First of all, Mahi Bhakti Prabhu gives so much nice Bhagavatam classes every day. Oh, Mahi, where are you? I'm so sorry. Without Mahi's classes, you know, we probably dry up. He gives the sweetest, enlivening classes, and all the children love his classes. And also, we do have a board now of seven members consisting of Jamuna Prasad Prabhu, Radha Kanta Prabhu, uh, Krishna Mai Dasi, uh, Vishwambar Prabhu, Radhika Devi Dasi, and who have I left out? Myself, and who else? Who? Oh, God, Nanda Gopal. <laughs> Okay, now for the children. Children. Huh? Okay, this year we're going to start with the oldest children first. And the first one is Prem Pradeep Prabhu, who is not only a student, but this year he's been teaching uh, Takaji worship and cooking lunches, and he's been trained up so nicely in Mathura. He's a, He's the son of Gopanandini and myself. Pado Yadio, Patama, Vidio, Tritia, Turio, Katito, Yaduru, Navish Tata, Panchama, Eva, Shasto, Bujantarang, Dori, Galantanyo. Kandhasta Raja Navamo Yadiyo Mukhara Vindam Dasanam Prapulam Ekadasho Yasya Lalata Patakam Chiro Pitu Dvadasaiva Pati Tamari Devam Karuna Nidhanam Tamala Varnam Suhita Avataram Aparatam Sara Samudra Setam Bajamahe Bhagavata Swarupam I meditate on the most merciful Sri Krishna, whose bodily view is black like a tamal tree. He has appeared for everyone's benefit in the form of Srimad Bhagavatam, which is like a bridge by which lost souls can cross over the unending ocean of birth and death. Uh, this Srimad Bhagavatam has twelve cantos, which correspond to the twelve parts of Krishna's divine form. The first and second cantos are his lotus feet. The third and fourth cantos are his lotus thighs. The fifth canto is his lotus navel. The sixth canto is his torso and chest. The, six, the seventh and eighth cantos are his beautiful lotus arms. The ninth canto is his lotus throat. The tenth canto is his beautiful lotus face. And the tenth canto, the eleventh canto is his forehead, and the twelfth canto is his crown.
I'm, I'm trying to go by age. I may make some mistakes, so forgive me. Govi Sna Govinda Snell, Govinda Sundari, the daughter of Nanda Gopal and Manju Vasini. She's um, just a wonderful devotee, very, very deep, uh, but very, very, keeps it to herself. But so compassionate and so sweet. Yasya deve para bhakti yata deve tata guru tasya ite katita hyarta prakashante mahatmana. All the purports of the Vedas are fully revealed to that great soul who has the same implicit faith for his guru as he has for Krishna. And next is Janava Devi Dasi, who, like Govi, will, in about six months from now, seven months, be attending college of themselves as well. It's so like good to go to college. And Janava got a perfect score on her high school exit exams, which is very rare, actually. Not only that, she's also very sweet. Daughter of Shamala and Tirtha Pada. And Guruji. Hide hamadyam silabhang sige labhang salang sukalpam guru karna dharam maya nukule na nabhasate tang tuman bhavadhing na atmaha. This human body, although effortlessly attained, is also very rarely achieved. This body is a perfectly constructed boat. The guru is the captain, Sadhusanga is the sail, and Harikata and the Shastras are the favorable winds impelling it towards spiritual perfection. Considering all these advantages, a person who does not utilize this life to cross the ocean of material existence is considered to be the killer of his own soul. Next is Radha Dasi, the daughter of Radini Shakti. And I have to say, although she won't want me to, that watching her unfold and blossom has been such a privilege. She's like in the 60s when we were wanting to get involved with things and when some of us who joined the movement we were concerned about other people and life and wanted to gather knowledge and were curious and that's what's happened to her and she's very serious about Krishna consciousness so rather does see you. I mean. Etan Vegan Yavisha Hetadira, Sarvam Atinam Pitavim Satishat. A wise and self composed person who can subdue the impetus of speech, the agitation of the mind, the onset of anger, the vehemence of the tongue, the urge of the belly, and the agitation of the genitals can instruct the whole world. Therefore, all persons may become disciples of such a wise and self composed person. <laughs> Our next devotee is Naratam Prabhu. Where is Naratam? Naratam is famous for his honesty, even when he'd rather not be. He's a very honest person, very good-hearted, and Gurudev has just told him he wants him to finish school, go to college, and spend some time in Mathura being trained up. Tatabadi Madhurya Shuti the other Pekshate and at the Sastam Yuktam Chat Olo for the Pati Lakshanam. Upon hearing the various affairs of the Vajvasi Parikar and the various rasas, the devotee's heart becomes deeply inspired to follow deeply inspired to follow a certain attraction of one of them. Therefore he is no longer dependent on the injection of Sasha to form the practices of Bhakti. This is the symptom of the awakening of divine greed. Next devotee is Janak, the son of, by the way, Kalindi, you're supposed to call your husband. The son of, I just got the message, the son of Kalindi and Kaliya Krishna, Janaku. Janak is, uh, you can see, has really nice brahminical qualities, and very sensitive and good hearted. And uh, we hope he'll also spend some time being trained up in the material mark. 
The trees and creepers of the forest, their branches waved down by the rich covering of the fruits and flowers, seem to manifest Vishnu within their hearts, exhibiting corruptions of love upon their bodies. They pour down rains of honey. The next one is Ram, Ram, the daughter of, never I did it again, I was, I was really trying this year not to blow it, but the son of Kunti and the grandson of Nehari Prabhu in Bhavantarini. Ram is from Hawaii, and if you've ever heard of Henry David Thoreau's statement, uh, we should march to the beat of his, our own drummer, Ram marches the beat of his own drummer, and he's, but he's matured so much. And he's dealings with everyone, and uh, he's made a lot of progress this year. We, we called him most improved student of the year. Bhakti Ramiya Yatpatam Sarvam 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 S
And she's recently come to our school. A very nice devotee, very nice qualities. And um, she does really well in applying her job to her academics. The verdict of all revealed scriptures is that through even a moment's association with a sadhu, one can attain ultimately complete spiritual, spiritual perfection. Uh, is Tulsi here today? Tulsi? Oh, keeping far away, Tulsi. Tulsi also joined us in the middle of this year. She's a daughter of Mahalakshmi Devi and Ramachandra Prabhu. And uh, Tulsi's wonderful. She's a really nice devotee and she's... Uh, go for it. Vindaye Kuntari by Priya Kishra Vastasya Krishna Bhakti Saradevi Sati Vatan Yenin Maha. Translation. And she doesn't know the truth. Okay, next. Is Chapala come yet? Pramananda Prabhu? I know, I just was asking for Chapala. Is Chapala here? Chapala has come from Hawaii. She's the daughter of Parmananda Prabhu, and she's made a lot of progress here. And I feel that she now identifies Badger as her home. And, uh, unfortunately, she's staying at another house, and they didn't get her over here in time. But it's Parmananda Prabhu's daughter. Where are you, Parmananda? He's probably trying to find Chapala. Okay. Next is Tulsi Manjari. She's the daughter of Akshno Palam and Govinda Nandini. And she is sweetness personified. She's come here recently, and everyone just feels very endeared by her nice qualities, and wants her to stay here forever. to see you as the perfection of the eyes. To touch your lotus feet is the perfection of the body. To glorify your divine qualities is the perfection of the tongue. For it is very rare to find a pure devotee within this world. Uh, I do want to mention there's one boy who's not here today because he's sick. His name is Kavi. He's also the son of Kalindi and uh, Kaliya Krishna Prabhu. Uh, but... Um, Really nice boy. Both of those boys that he raised, really two nice boys. And it's unfortunate he couldn't be here, but I just wanted to mention him. Uh, Kavi, finally. Right. <laughs> and next is Vishnupriya. Vishnupriya is the daughter of our teacher, Vichy Manjari. And she's just an exemplary young girl. No, um, no criticisms, no... Uh, She's all good qualities, very sweet, very affectionate, and very nice to vote. Shri Chaitanya Manovitam Svapitam Yenabhutare Svayam Rupa Kadamayam Tadante Svaha Kadantikam When will Srila Rupa Goswami give me the shelter of his lotus feet? Because he understood the animal's heart's desire, Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he was able to establish his mission in this world and is therefore very dear to the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. I made a big mistake and I don't want to repeat it this year. She also has a very nice devotee father and his name is Vaishnav Kuru. Uh, okay, next is Narada. Narada. Also known as Nanda Nandana since he's my guru here, but my habit of him calls him Narada. And Narada is, he, he's come from a public school that he lives in here. He's the son of a Bangada, as I said. And he came here very morose, and I'm, now he smiles a lot. He's happy, and he should be with devotees, because he's a devotee himself. Go ahead. Those who do not possess sufficient pious credit will not have faith in Mahaprasada, Sri Govinda, and the holy names of the Vaishnavas. So we can see that 
Snart is glorifying his favorite activity. Kids and Raj speak more clearly, but then he needs to do it with uh, Next is Janavi. Janavi is the daughter of Anuradha and the granddaughter of Pankishore and Champaklata. This is the story. Unkitam the holy name of the Lord in a humble state of mind, thinking himself to be lower than a blade of grass, more tolerant than a tree, having no false pride, and always ready to offer respect to others in such a state of mind. Unkitam the holy name of the Lord constantly. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and the last one, is your brother here, Sanity? Is he showing you? The last one, he spent a lot of time working on this verse on page five of the song book. So uh, we're going to ask him if he'd send it, we'll help him say it. What's the verse, Kishore? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. He's very shy. For those of our students, I want to express our deepest set. to see the good days. Before I do that, I want to acknowledge also a few other people. Uh, Lately, we've been having a lot of meetings about expanding the school, and many new people have come, but some more residents have been involved in the process. Kishore Prabhu's wife, um, Jai Sri, who is, who is a graduate of the school, and his sister, uh, uh, Jamuna, and also Jiva Priya Prabhu, he came through recently, and he did some workshops with us on communication, and it was very effective, so I want to thank them all also, Jiva Priya Prabhu. But again, Anything we can do, if this is anything that happens as good as Gurudev Shakti. When I had some uh, nervous collapse a couple of years ago and I went to see Gurudev and he said, the problem is you're thinking you're the doer. It is my Shakti. Just become the statue. And then that night he went in and got donations from the entire crowd just sitting in his chair. So Gurudev is doing everything and I just pray that we can all take deeply what he's come to give us, especially myself and that we can be his instruments to carry his mission forward. We can never pay our debt to our spiritual master, but we can try. Shiva Gurudev Ki My blessings to Rajendra Nandan Prabhu. In his guidance, this school is running very well as I wanted. And I told them to establish a school, ideal school, not like school. I heard that the Gurukul boys <coughs> filed a case against them and they won the case that they have ruined their oh, all characters and everything. So I told him, make this school ideal that each and every student, they should be inspired in bhakti also and class subject also both. Our Guru Maharaj used to tell any education without bhakti is like zero. So I am very happy that he is inspiring even small boys and girls. What is Gita? What is Bhag Bhagavatam? Who is Krishna?
Krishna, who is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And they are learning very good, good shlokas, important shlokas. And they are also qualified to translate the Sanskrit shlok. And their uttering is very, very good. Pronunciation, very good. I also want, I wanted that a committee should be there. And I am happy that a committee has been done. And so many persons are helping. My disciples are helping. And that is why I think this school is ideal in whole world, I can tell. So I want that there should be no lack, lacking of any money problem. That the teacher should be paid duly. The staff should be paid duly. I'm very happy that oh, this committee has taken this building also and there is place for living them and also for teaching. But yet I am I want that a separate school anywhere nearby. So many with classes classrooms and qualified more teachers yes, there should be. So I think this committee will manage all these things. And this is school should be ideal. Those who stand will come and learn here and they will go away after learning. They should be ideal in bhakti in everything. My blessings to all students, staff, and everyone. Especially to Nan Vasnir, Nandan, Nandan, oh, Gopanandani, and also Nitya Manjari. And all oh, especially that Radhika. Radhika. Very expert, very expert in all. Thank you. Now Hare Krishna. Oh, one kirtan. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare.